Now to one of the most anticipated books of 2023 and the newly announced February GMA book club pick, River Sing Me Home. It's the debut novel from Eleanor Shear, who joins us here on GMA on this Saturday morning. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you for having me. So we just announced River Sing Me Home as our monthly pick earlier this week. So many of the readers are already enjoying it. It's about a mother's remarkable journey to find her children in the aftermath of slavery. You said this was inspired by your own family. How so? Yeah, so firstly, this woman, Rachel, who's looking for her children, in order to get into the mind of this mother and the fierce love that motivates her, I was really drawing on the wonderful black women in my own life, like my mother and my step-grandmother and my aunt and my grandmother, and thinking about how they had faced so much in terms of racism and come out of that with certain qualities like a cautiousness and a watchfulness, but also that they had so much hope and love still to give and they ha weren't defined by these experiences. But also this is a novel about family separation and then also the possibility of reconnection. And I, I come from a, an immigrant background. My grandparents came to the UK from the Caribbean in 1957. And when they came, they lost touch with a lot of family out there. They, my granddad never really spoke to his family in Barbados again. And we still to this day don't really know why he did that. But in the last few years, me and my mom and my family have been able to rebuild some of those links in the Caribbean and it's been so special. So that theme of what it means to find your family again was also very personal to me because of that experience. Wow, what an extraordinary story there. Um, I do want to talk about this because some of our viewers know this, but GMA Book Club partners with Little Free Library to give out free copies of our book club picks uh, all across the U.S. and Canada. And one of our library stewards is Megan, a mom from North Carolina, and she already gave River Sing Me Home a five-star review and she has a question for you. So let's take a look. Hi, Eleanor. After reading your book and learning about your family history, I'm wondering what emotions came up for you as you wrote it. Did having a personal connection to the story make it easier or harder for you? Oh, you I think, think that's such a great question. I mean, the personal connection, obviously the, the pain that's there in that history, I know that I am the descendant of people like Rachel that would have been enslaved. I think it really made me deliberate about which part of history I wanted to focus on in this book. I like to say it's not a book about slavery, it's about a, a book about what comes after it and wanting to find that period where people were able to make freedom for themselves. and showing that there was hope and joy and love still even in this dark period of history. And I think in particular, one thing that really stuck with me is um, I was once in St. Lucia talking to someone there, it's where my grandmother's from, and he said this thing that I thought was so moving, which is that on the history of slavery and how it's remembered, we shouldn't be ashamed it happened, we should be proud that we survived it. And I think that personal connection for me, that sense of pride and wanting to show the full range of ways in which people were able to make lives for themselves, that was the, the dominant emotion, even though it's in some ways facing the, the difficult aspects of the past was painful as well. That is so interesting, and that was such a great question, and I love getting to hear this from you because we're sitting down later this week to talk about the book. I'm almost done with it, and so it's so interesting to hear about your personal ties so I will be asking you about this in a couple <laughs> of days, but if River Sing Me Home were ever to head to the big screen, who would be your dream cast? Gosh, um, I think it's such an exciting time to be thinking about that kind of question because um, I don't know if you guys have seen The Woman King. I think there's just so many exciting kind of, for the first time we're seeing these like black led productions and there's so much exciting talent coming through. So. I have to say, I'm a huge fan of Naomi Harris, who's the um, British Jamaican actress. She was in James Bond, she was in Pirates of the Caribbean. I think she would be an amazing person to have in attached to any production. Um, Letitia Wright as well is also, um, her family's from uh, Guyana, which is one of the settings in the novel. So having that connection there. And finally, uh, maybe someone like John Boyega for some of the male roles. I think he's such an exciting right. young talent. So yeah. So this Good is something picks. that you have thought through. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Hollywood's yeah. listening right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, Eleanor, thank you so much for being thank here with you. us. And you can continue reading along with us um, at GMA Book Club. River Sing Me Home is out now. We'll have more with Eleanor later this month on GMA, so stick around for that. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.